All right. So I just saw, okay, on the news, on a clip on YouTube, and I believe it's significant. I saw it for a reason before I got on here to do this last reading before I go run some errands here. Uh, a woman, so a woman's sister, okay, a woman that was from Haiti, living in the States and U.S., I <clears throat> got a child through through process uh, some adoption um, program from that the U.S. has with Haiti. Um, some bill passed by the the or that the government that the government and the president signed off on for like a speedy adoption. Okay, um, this kid went through a speedy adoption service to come over here to live in the U.S. with some woman, okay? This woman abused this child and tied the child's arms behind their back, with trigger warning, okay, trigger warning. 111 on the timer. Tied this child's arms behind their back and threw them in the swimming pool. Okay. This child is no longer alive, okay? Um, I guess when they did the autopsy, okay, they... And I'm speaking on information that's out there in the public, okay? During the autopsy, the autopsy, the coroner found that the child was severely, highly, severely abused, okay? Severely abused. And I remembered when I saw that, this reading, the reading that I did the other night, okay, and to today about a child being unalived and uh, that information coming out, okay. Um, I'm not saying that because I believe that this is what I picked up on, um, but I'm saying that because it's significant to what people are doing, the extent that people are going to People that are wrapped tight. Um, we are in those days, right? Um, I mean, look at our families. We're in those days, okay? Hold on, let me. But yeah, I just wanted to say that because uh, sometimes, and it depends on how Spirit wants some readers to do it, and what some wants some what Spirit wants some readers to read on, or the message that Spirit gives us. Sometimes there are going to be some messages that are, you know, not the kind we want to hear. But bear, bear with me get some of those messages because sometimes I do um, and they're not so pleasant to hear but I mean it's happening so you know pleasant or not to hear it needs to be heard either way okay um, and sometimes I and I know for sure the spirit is about to start giving me these messages um, preventative messages okay um, not just messages of things that have already occurred but things that will occur if there aren't changes made, right, at the situation. So I'm gonna start getting some of those messages too. So just a heads up there. Sage. They need to put some more, um, add more to these boxes, man. It ain't, it ain't enough. It ain't enough. I, I say it ain't enough. Jeff Bezos, it ain't enough. <laughs> no, I know this is just a carrier. <laughs>
All right, Holy Spirit, please give me clear, precise messages for who we doing now. Capricorn. And you know what? I heard, too, the Spirit told me to write down Maricopa County. Okay, there's been a lot of uh, unsolved uh, unalivings. Okay, uh, a lot of cold cases going on in Mar Mar Maricopa County. Okay, so I picked up that up for a reason. Spirit told me to write it down. So, uh, yeah, hold on. Let me go to this. Confirmation. Also, um, some of us that are highly, highly, highly intuitive are going to be requested uh, and offered opportunities. I've been picking this up for a while as well in the collective that um, there's a company or an agency could be like FBI, CIA, um, some type of detective federal agency, okay? Confirmation that is going to want to employ some of us for our gifts, right? Um, to help solve court cases, to um, help with kidnappings, to um, locate sex trafficking rings and things of that nature, okay? Uh, locating missing people. We're about to be called upon to operate in these positions, okay? So Holy Spirit just gave us confirmation, okay? Uh, so, I mean, I expect that, at least for myself. Um, and it's crazy because that's always something that I wanted to do, right? I wanted to be a detective at one point in my uh, growing up, right, in my youth. And um, looks like I might actually get the chance to do that. So that's pretty cool, you know. Um, but yeah, that's that. I always said, what has to do with Capricorn? All right. See Leo here um, on top of Gemini. Okay, so it could be Leo Gemini dynamic. Um, a low vibration of Leo with the divine feminine or masculine Gemini here, or some situation going on with that. Uh, a Aries that is healing. Okay, that is actively walking in the upright. Okay. Uh, 11 came out in the reverse. Um, this could be twin flame union that's in separation. Okay, could pertain to these messages or any anywhere in these messages. Uh, the number nine, something being birth. Virgo uh, landed over here by Taurus, and there's a Libra halfway in, halfway out, halfway in the dark, halfway in their dark. South node and halfway in the north node, so they're straddling. Okay, a Libra, and uh, there's a there's a divine masculine or feminine Virgo, male or female, um, that is dealing with a Aries. There's a divine masculine feminine Virgo dealing with a divine masculine feminine Aries. I believe this might be that twin flame couple here. Um. Okay, so let's see. I mean, it's not an it. I know that's going to come out of the cards, but I'm just saying. All right. Oh, shit. Nine fourteen. I just saw. It's my birthday. September Virgo. I am a true Virgo, okay? Right in the heart. Smack dab in the middle of Virgo. A lot of fire, air, earth. Zero percent water. Um. All 
right, top three. And then one for the crown. Top three for Capricorn. Victory, fluorite. Okay. I wonder if that's the same fluorite that they put in everything. Victory, I came, I saw, I conquered, is what the card says. What's the second? Mistake in the reverse. So it feels like you are experiencing a victory and somebody else is, or, or other people are realizing that they made a mistake. They see their mistakes. Okay, because of their greed. Okay, it's the last one, and that's sitting on Scorpio. Victory is sitting on, uh, sitting in between Aries and, uh, and Pisces. Okay, and mistake in the reverse is sitting on Capricorn. In between Aquarius and uh, Sagittarius. Wisdom on the bottom of the deck. Give me one. What's crowning? What's crowning the reading? Misfortune. Misfortune and death, those are the crowning cards. Misfortune and death. All right. Keep Maricopa County in mind, okay? Or at least I will. <laughs> um, maybe this maybe this is taking place or this has taken place in Maricopa County or this that's one of the places this is taking place I feel like something is about to come out of this uh, something significant here um, uh, let's use the gold deck I'm being called to. All right, so under victory, justice, call to the right deck. First card out on the bottom, victory, justice. Justice for something that was hidden, something that was done in secret. Some type of old negative cycle. Somebody's somebody's fun and bantering is coming to an end. Yeah, nine of swords. Somebody is uh, mentally unstable about a judgment call, a victory somebody's experiencing. Somebody wants to rush in and act stupid, basically. Because they're caught up and there's nothing they can do about it. Yep. About what they did to this Empress. You guys can see that nine, nine of swords in the Empress. One more. Yeah, God, uh, God is doing some things. Being an institution that is, uh, Mentally unstable right now as well. You know, like a whole company of people. I, I can't tell. I, I can't. Three of swords. A company of people is heartbroken. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of people. A lot of people. I preach this. Okay, you can know this. All right. I'm getting somebody could be a reader as well. Okay, you don't have to be. Uh, maybe you can do something uh, with your spiritual gifts, something spirituality. Here in profit, 
prophetess, four swords. You may have prophetic dreams for you are a gateway um, for the spiritual realm to communicate with and act in the physical realm. You're a, you're a portal. That's what you are, you're a portal. Okay, a conduit, a medium. You operate in supernatural wisdom and acts. You're some type of a powerful reincarnated being, like ancient reincarnated being. What's this for? So it's so it's for. So I'm getting whoever this is. Uh, you didn't. Whatever this is that's happening now, or that happened in the past, that you're that's closed down now. Whatever cycle, you you went through this. Like, in a, in a past life and you didn't you weren't victorious in the past life but you are the, in this life okay so these people did this to you in another life and they were victorious in it but not this life or not two of swords not this life or not two of cups could have been about a relationship, okay? Or somebody that was in a relationship with you, uh, betrayed you. Or you are about to get the victory when it comes to a relationship. Yeah, somebody wants to give to you. Somebody wants to give to you. There could be somebody that tried to that that you used to give to in your past that um, wants to give to you or wants to start over. <clears throat> I'm feeling a partner here, a, a counterpart, divine union. Something's being led. I feel something's being led. Something's being guided. It's like magnets. Not opposing though, coming together, attracting. It was opposing before. It was like two magnets opposing each other, but not anymore. The magician. You guys are connected spiritually. You guys are now in the same frequency, on the same frequency. Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You guys are manifesting from the same point of spiritual abundance and ascension. Like in the spiritual, you guys are at this, you guys are matched up now. Like you're, some type of union is happening spiritually because you guys are on the same, you guys are vibrating on the same uh, frequency. And that's a one of abundance, okay? And hard work, tenacity, forward movement, okay? Ignoring distractions and uh, 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 conflict. Ignoring and overcoming. Ignoring because you've overcome. Victory. Something could be changing with your stability, with your foundation. Uh, something could be being added to your foundation. That can be this relationship. Feels to me like you're getting two things um, that, that are due to you, that are part of your spiritual inheritance, that are... Um, Part of your 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 legacy, Ace of Pentacles. So three of wands and the Empress in reverse. Okay. So it's gonna be a mother figure or someone's baby's mother, low vibrational, or um, somebody's actual mother, like um, an ex's mother. Okay, or your mother, somebody's karmic mother. Okay.
there's a karmic mother it could be a cancer energy feminine that tried to steal an ace of pentacles and block a relationship divine union but this mother's been called judgment on and there could be somebody uh there could be a police officer or a court official or somebody that's bringing you information about this ace of pentacles okay either they're bringing you a check or they're bringing you information about this okay something that was taken from you yep the world so this is somebody's mother who has no direction this mother figure this mother has no direction this mother could be in their 50s to early 60s this mother is jealous of your feels like this mother is jealous of you because you are able to chase after your dreams you're actually living your dreams and chasing them at the same time. This mother's jealous of that. She wants to live vicariously through you. To be a narcissistic parent. Getting a parent that never wanted to grow up. just heard um, whoever's parent this is if you were sex excuse me um, trigger warning if you were sexually assaulted as uh, in your your youth okay this mother knew about it this mother knew about it they knew what it was gonna happen to spirit showing me like a sense of somebody selling like selling their child My mother did the same thing to me. Fed me to the to the family pedophile. So this mother's been trying to manifest uh, manip manipulate your manifestations that are coming in for you, like change them. Take from them. This mother even uh, has has done this, has waited before to see who you're going to be with, and they intervened in that relationship. They got, they were either sleeping with that person behind your back, or they were feeding this person information about you that wasn't true. The chariot and the hierophant. It's like you're on autopilot right now, spiritually. It's like spirit's taking care of you. Like everything is on. It's like it's on auto, autopilot. That's what I'm getting. Spirit's taking care of you. Uh, temperance. Like you're manifesting your forward movement. Like it's moving. Like rapidly. I'm seeing the figure eight. It's just moving. It's like a dragon going in the figure eight position. It's keep going and going and going. It's 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 flowing. It's like you're not. You're not attached to anything or anyone. You're not attached to a certain outcome. You are not um, uh, stuck on thoughts of the past or future tripping. You are living in the moment. You're fully balanced right now. And because you are, right, and you're not worried about future events, past events, whatever it is, right, it's quickening your manifestation. It's quickening it. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, it's speeding up. Because you release control of everything. That's what let go means. You let go, okay? <laughs> if let go was a person, <laughs> it'll be you. Okay? You can have Pisces in your chart. It'll be one of your big three. Page of Wands. tower so there's something that's ordained that is being not uh, not looked at but <sighs> inspected thank you Holy Spirit the divine is inspecting this union to make sure that it is pristine that it is 
correct. Okay, before it is brought together. Tower, okay. This is the, this is the surprise happening. This is it being brought together. Okay, because it's going to come out of nowhere. Somebody that loves you. A king of wands to your queen of cups. Okay. Person could have walked away from you or vice versa in the past. Like you guys could not be talking right now, but this person has never uh, took their eye, taken their eyes off of you. They might have stood at a distance. They were wounded and healing, but they never took their eyes off of you. Stay focused on you. Okay? They didn't want to move on. <laughs> not without you. What's the time? 26. Okay, so what's next? Page one. Six of Cups. Yeah, this is somebody that you guys separated in the past. Something that barely got off the ground, if at all. Nine of Wands. Somebody that was probably in and out in the past. Probably a fire sign, uh, Sagittarius, Aries. Page Two. You guys have spent lifetimes together, whoever this person is. Past lifetimes you spent together, at least at least four. I would just say several. I was about to say four to seven. At least several lifetimes you guys have lived together. What's this? Six of Cups. Somebody say I'm a I'll choose you every lifetime. I just heard somebody say that to to somebody else. I'll choose you every lifetime. I saw that. I know y'all saw that. There we go. Queen of Cups. I mean Queen of Pentacles, excuse me. But somebody could have been focused more focused on um Maybe more on material things in the past. Or what things look like. They might have been more surface level in the past. This person might have been a little shallow. And naive at the same time as well. Confirmation. Um, Ace of Swords. Yeah, Emperor Aries. Mm -hmm. Aries slash uh, King of Swords. This person's a leader. This person uh, could be... A business owner or they could lead people I'm getting like a military vibe you can be in charge of people come on here now oh, this is absolutely an emperor <laughs> ace of swords ace of swords emperor okay king of swords king of cups page of cups it's definitely an emperor okay person's matured a lot. Nine of Wands. This person knows that you're guarded from them because of how maybe immature they acted in the past. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Eight of Cups in Reverse, Eight of Swords. Yeah, this person could have gave to uh, an already family situation in their past. Like they were supposed to walk away from it, but they didn't. It's like they started, they were ascending and then they stepped backwards type of thing. Okay, and they trapped themselves. Okay, given to the past. Don't put that card because that never puts back in the right direction. Yeah, somebody thinks that you're scared to give to them because of the past. I don't think you're scared. I think you're just cautious. Because uh, you know what happened last time. Confirmation. 30 minutes. 
Five of Cups. So this person's sad because because of the fact that they made you even feel like you feel right towards them. The fact that they even made you have to hold your uh, put your guards up when it comes to them. The star confirmation. Yeah, this person's uh, they're they're putting a lot of faith in this and in, in this belief that you'll forgive them and and that you guys can be together. Like this person is like like really having a lot of faith in this, like praying about it and everything. Look, didn't I just this person's praying about it and everything? Hermit, Ace of Wands, the Five of Wands. Even though they're conflicted, okay, and I feel like outside people are are, are drawing these conflictions to them making them feel conflicted or trying to but no matter if they are or not they're still coming with an offer they don't care they don't care what people are talking about this could also this could be same sex don't have to be if it don't fit leave me <clears throat> um, these can both be hermits energies uh you guys can both be virgos or you can be aries and virgo or pisces cancer scorpio and a fire sign this person is planning judgment in reverse eight of pentacles nine of pentacles on the bottom of the deck this person is planning They're planning how to right a wrong, how to fix a misjudgment. They might be holding back about their stability to you or revealing their stability or the fact that they're carrying a lot of, or got a lot of things on their plate right now. Okay, let's move on to this middle section here. So this person's coming towards you, okay? They're just trying to figure out how to do that in a way that is not mediocre when they first come, when they come back to you, right? They wanna come back with a plan, uh, actions to enact that plan, and to move forward with you, okay? Look, two of cups on bottom of the deck. Okay, so we'll leave that section right there. And we will move to this middle section. It says mistake. Should I use which, which deck? I'm getting a call to use this deck for this section. We fell off. Spirit guides, missionary. So we're looking at mistake in the reverse. So either somebody did make a mistake or somebody made a mistake and sees how big of a mistake they made. I feel like somebody's intuition is coming on going ding, 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 ding. Like, like somebody turned all the lights on in the room. It was dark in the room before somebody turned the lights on. Now somebody's like, oh. After they're sitting behind the, uh, sitting in the courtroom in the in the, the holding cell, now they're having epiphanies. <laughs> spirit guides in the reverse. <laughs> Somebody's spirit guides left them. Mm -hmm. Somebody's ancestry team left them. Clear audience. Yeah, they're not talking to them anymore. They don't they don't hear them anymore. The capability of receiving intuitive vocal message from the world of spirits. Reverse. Yeah, they made a big mistake. Big mistake. Yeah, it's definitely a realization of, of, of a huge mistake or huge mistakes. This could be a Capricorn. Uh, Capricorn, why did I say it like that? This can be a Capricorn or 
uh, this could be a low vibrational Capricorn that's realizing some things, or this could be a Cap uh, divine feminine masculine Capricorn. But I feel like this is somebody low vibrational. Writing in reverse. You know what? I'll get with this. I feel like somebody was... Really? I, I promise you. Pluto. The urge to penetrate the depths of experience and experience renewal, detransformation, regeneration, evolution. Somebody was trying to stop your evolution, okay? Your, your growth. Okay? They were trying to rewrite your story. They didn't want you to be able to hear from your spirit guides. I see somebody watching you, studying you, and they're writing something in like a journal, a notebook or something. It's kind of like some prophetic writing is what I'm getting the feel for. Like, because some of us have that gifts, those of us that are writers too, um, I can write something, right? And I can, I'll, I'll see that thing happen in my everyday life, right? I'll write it down and it will happen, right? So somebody, you carry this gift, okay? And somebody else tried to tap into your energy, siphon it, and use your gift against you. Somebody wanted to use your prophetic writing gift against you. They wanted to write against your destiny. Okay, so what they try to do is write out your destiny, the destiny they wanted for you, and prophesy that. And they thought it was going to come to pass. Mixed with some bibbity bop. Pocus pocus, you know. Yeah, somebody realized that was a big mistake. We're getting real detailed here. This person's favorite color could be blue. Mediumship and humble in the reverse. Somebody was not humble. <laughs> Matter of fact, they had a godlike complex. They didn't they did not see the word humble. Like literally turned their nose up at it if somebody mentioned the word humble or humility. somebody who was not humble and who refused to be humble they thought they were listening to the spirit guides but they were listening to their ego okay their ego was running the show their ego was the boss of this administration okay this person also could have, could have run an administration which is crazy to me Sadistic, how the hell does a sadistic person run such a group of people? But um okay. Psychometry in the reverse. This person learned dark alchemy. This person learned dark alchemy. Um Some type of book of shadows I'm hearing, like prophetic dreams. This person could have been taught how to dream hop or uh, astral project into people's dreams. Okay, so this this person could have been trying to do that to you, either past or, or, or recently, or is trying to. Remember I said don't take anything in your dreams, not anything to drink, eat, anything. Don't receive anything from anyone in your dreams. That's too many. Clear, clear cognizance of, of uh, upright. The ability to have a clear knowing with no practical explanation for why. So this person, okay. Work ethics on the bottom of the deck, yeah. So this person studied things, right? They studied things. That they first of all they studied the wrong things, and they studied the wrong things in the wrong manner, okay? Because they wanted to match your clear cognizance ability, capabilities, right? You can hear from the spiritual realm, right? You have these knowings, okay, as well as other ways of hearing and communicating with the uh, spiritual realm, right? This person was jealous of that, okay, and they tried to use book smarts as a as a as an operative to you okay but even in these books or, or whatever they were learning it, it was twisted right they weren't 
it's like this person's learning ability, like their intake when it comes to information and, and, and wisdom or knowledge or whatever. The way that they intake information or or wisdom or things, period, is is distorted. It's it's got a distorted filter. I'm trying to describe it, how spirits telling it to me. It's If there's like a sifting process, right, upon intake, there's a sifting that goes on, right? Um, a sifting out of the bad parts, right? Or the parts that don't need to be in there. There's holes in this person's sifter, if that makes sense. Like there's giant holes in their sifter where there should be tiny holes. Get it? Okay, so uh, um, the way they intake things, it does not, Things do not compute in a way that they should compute with this person or these people. Um, information comes in one way and it's distorted and pushed out another. A way that wasn't even con ever constructed to be. Does that make sense? Work ethics, okay. You work hard, okay. They don't, they don't, they can't match your work ethic. The creative, I can't make it up. I cannot make it up. You're too creative. You're too, uh, I'm hearing, quick-witted. Like you're quick on your feet, on your toes, right? Uh, you're witty. You're funny, okay? Uh, <laughs> some of us are just regular comedians, you know? Um, it's just attributes uh, and, and different sides, different facets of who we are. Like we're a whole lot of things in one, you know? Uh, we can be good at 10 different things, but that doesn't mean that the, uh, those things are our purpose, right? Um, like me, I, I, I used to be a dancer, well, I'm still a dancer, but I haven't danced like professionally or, you know, in front of crowds of people in like years, right? But I'm still a dancer. You get what I'm saying, right? Like, you guys get it. You guys get it. They don't like that you're so, you're, you're, you're multifaceted. You're good at a lot of different things. And those things don't even have to necessarily be your, their gifts, but they're not your, you know, your main gifts, right? But you're good at them. And they don't like that you're good at things. They're like, save some for me. <laughs> save some for me, save some gifts for me. Save some things to be good at for me. No, it's too many. <laughs> Manifestation. Yeah, you are a powerhouse. I mean, what else can I say? Hospitality. <laughs> All the, the, even though you have, we have light and dark to us, you're like the best of both, right? The best of both worlds. Like even, well, people don't want to see your dark side. No, they don't want to see that, but your, your dark side is balanced, right? You can give a little of your dark side, right? Um, um, mixed with most of your light side, right? Because that time or whatever time that you're in calls for that, right? There's moments that call for you to be a little more aggressive, right? Than you would be uh, empathetic, you get what I'm saying, right? Um, and you know when and where and how to, to, to operate in those different facets of yourself. Right, those that's that's what's called uh, moving in and out of energies, right? Like an emperor and empress, they're like, they're all of the kings and the queens and the and the and the the deck, right? So they can move in and out of those energies at will. Okay, service in the reverse. Animal in the reverse. So they did a disservice to you. Okay. Uh, Try to make you look like something you weren't an animal okay and it's come out that they are the actual animals okay god may be i'm, I'm hearing that verse now um and your sons and daughters shall prophesy and men and women shall dream dreams and and, and that part right this is what i'm hearing here so um people that were lied to about you okay people that uh gossiped about you even people amongst the gossip um God is revealing and has been revealing to people what the truth is, like through dreams, uh, 
uh, epiphany is however it's happening. God's been revealing the truth to people. Like in the community, uh, the law officials, uh, everybody involved, the truth is being revealed. It's like an energy sweeping across the world, right? And, and it, it's, it's bringing this truth, this revelation, scholar, the truth being revealed. Kindness. One more. Miracles, baby. Come on here now. Missionary on the bottom of the deck. Miracles and missionary. Come on, baby. Tell me the Lord ain't in here. Jesus. Tell me he ain't in here. Because he is. You are the teacher and the performer of miracles. You are. You shall do things that Jesus did and greater. This is This is you. The student and the teacher. This is you. Was Jesus not the student and the teacher? Yes, he was. And so were you. Not comparing you to Jesus, absolutely not. But you are doing his work. You are doing God's work. Okay, just like Jesus did. And does. Okay. Oh, wait, it goes down here. All right, anything else in this section? Holy Spirit, we need to know about. Ooh. Missionary in the reverse. Okay. You know what? I'm going to do that one over because I don't like it. Damn it. I don't like that. I don't feel like it was supposed to. Psychic power gained through Buddhist meditation. Humanity. Help people all over the world see where individuals, communities, and governments need to change in order to establish peaceful world. Alchemists. So some type of change is coming through through uh, the collective medit like the collective meditate medit meditative state networking yes yes confirmation the collective meditative meditative state okay it's like in our individual meditative states right when we go into a state of meditation individually um it's also happening on a collective scale okay and this is changing humanity this is changing the uh the makeup of the environment around us okay wherever we are in the four corners of this earth Okay, it's changing the, uh, the, the environment, the makeup of the environment around us, okay, and everything in it, it's changing that. So you are a very important person, okay? Confirmation, thank you, Holy Spirit, which is why you are protected in the way that you are. Been quiet, been quiet for a while. Just saying. <laughs> no, they right here. <laughs> you know what? They gave me so many confirmations in my earlier videos, right? It was back to back to back in the video. That's because I was still learning to trust my intuition fully. So, just letting me know. <laughs> Look, and, and, and I, I shuffled in the wind, blew this over, and it said perfectionist under that. <laughs> so, <laughs> confirmation. Here that's forming, all right. In the first section, um, 
it is a victory okay confirmation it is a um, uh, part of your promise all right so you are receiving it okay you already know this if I'm talking to you you already know this in, in your in, uh, intuition you know this already for sure you know this all right and this second section this middle section mistake in reverse okay um, these people realize how big the mistakes that they made are they realize how big those mistakes were okay and who they were coming against all right and we are on this part this last part of greed something is dead and over with what's this uh, greed High Priestess, Gemini, Gemini Energy, also Pisces, I'm um, picking up one, Confirmation. Oh. Judgment, card I just saw on the bottom of the day. So it could be a Gemini that's been, uh, judgment's been called on a Gemini for some type of greed, greedy action, greedy actions taken. Uh, seven of Wands, protection as a wand, the fool. Somebody could have tried to scam someone. This is a group of people. Look at those group of people down there. Look at their hands reaching up there and they're in that pit. This is a group of people. Cups in the reverse. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There we go. Gemini and Scorpio again. Confirmation. Come through this place, Holy Spirit. These two butt buddies. Page of Swords. These, both of these people are watching you. I want to say stalking. Okay, I know this is in the upper right, but I was just about to say stalking. So, yes, these people are stalking you. The uh, Page of Swords in the reverse is stalking. But... Spirit is just having me say that out of my mouth. So, uh, yeah, somebody's stalking you. So they probably act like they're not watching you, but they are intensely watching you. Somebody could be, even be following you or having people follow you. Six of Cups. This is definitely people from your past. People that Spirit told you to let go from your past, and you did it. Temperance in the reverse, Ace of Cups, up right. Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So I'm getting you irritated. The, the, the kindness in you, the... The care, the, the lightheartedness in you irritated somebody. Like it made them, it gave them anxiety. Like your happiness, your, 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 the love that you carry, like your Ace of Cups energy gave this person anxiety. Or at least the demons within them. Type of person that likes to cause pain to you. Like they got off on causing pain to you. Us too many, too many. Like they really got off. Like they got a hard on doing it. Like for real. I mean that in a literal sense. Something wrong with this person. Type of person that'll inflict physical pain on you and, and get a get a hard on about it. Like for real. Something wrong with this person. Emperor. There's an emperor that, that watches you on a platform or so watches you on the internet. Watching you be, being celebrated on the internet. 
that wants to uh, give you an offer. That's your person over here. That's your person over here. This Aries, Emperor Energy. For some. Whoever's twin flame it is, it's, it's, this is an Aries. Absolutely a masculine Aries. And a, and a, and a divine feminine Virgo. Same sex. A masculine couple. I mean a male couple. Ten of Swords. That somebody is in the Ten of Swords about. Yeah, this past person here, this 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 Cancer Pisces Scorpio in the reverse, is in the Ten of Swords because this Aries wants to come together with you, High Priestess, and they're going to this Aries from your past. Doesn't have to be. Uh, I'm definitely getting past life, but um, from your not so far past. And the only reason that there is a, uh, that I'm able to say not so far past is because this King of Cups in the reverse and I'm picking up a uh, feminine Queen of Wands in the reverse. Okay, these two on both of you guys' sides. So your ex could have been this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in reverse and their ex is a Queen of Wands in the reverse. Okay, they were both interfering in this. I don't really feel like these two people know each other, but on uh, on opposite ends, they were interfering in you got both of you guys' relationship. I'm getting a uh, Holy Spirit saying they can feel the love that you two have between each other. Justice, Nine of Cups. So this Aries wants to bring justice to a Ten of Swords from the past. So apologize, be honest. They found out something or some information that they did not know before. So they wanna share what they found out with you in hopes that there would be some understanding in the situation and you guys could maybe work on mending something between the two of you. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to bring things back into balance. King of Swords. Honesty. No nonsense. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius could be. Doesn't have to be. Three of Swords. Two of Wands. This person could have got their heart broken, uh, whatever direction they went in in the past. And so they learned a lesson. Could have been with a Gemini. Libra Aquarius, heavy Gemini. King of Swords, Libra Gemini, Aquarius again. So there's also a, uh, I'm picking, this is this Gemini. Uh, I think it be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or any sign, but I'm picking up a Gemini that's heartbroken and um, uh, trying to keep their head above water, but they're already, they've already sunken. They're, they're, they've already sunken. It's like they're doing a dance to try to keep something balanced, but it's already, it's, it's already falling over. The devil, five of wands, it's already falling over. It, it's fallen over, been stomped on, stomped to pieces. There's nothing there. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Six of Swords. Nine of Cups, Six of Swords. <gasps> Page of Wands. Somebody wants to offer you this love and whisk you away. Okay. Away from every hating body there is around you. The bulk of you person's planning or they're investing in their journey now 
what makes them happy, and leave them behind what doesn't. Okay, is your masculine or feminine? Take it out of name. This person, I feel like this person already has a plan. Like, like this person has everything laid out already. All they need you to do is say yes, and it's like all you have to do is like grab your stuff and and go with them. Like, <laughs> it's like they have everything mapped out. All you have to do is say yes, and they got the plane tickets and they got the. The trip mapped out, how long it's gonna take to get there, the the, the, the stop them on the way to get gas, or uh, you know what I'm saying, food stops. Like it's like they got everything planned out already. I'm not saying that it's a trip. It could be a trip. They're inviting you on, but I'm saying to give you, I'm painting a picture to give you a visual, okay, of how assertive they're being. Good goodness, couldn't get it out. They are really planning for this to go well. Five of Pentacles. And somebody knows that it will. So I just feel like they're out in the in the kizzo. Look, holding on by a thread. Whoever these past people are. Queen of Wands, Page of Cups, the Five of Swords. Shit, this is at least one, two, three. This is at least four people watching this happen from a distance watching these things take place the magician ten of pentacles baby boy spirit really know how to put a period on it don't he do you manifest your ten of pentacles and while this person or these people are some homeless, some homeless, some of them drown completely, and you know what that means. Okay, and some it's not that serious for. But it's still serious at the same time, if you get what I mean. You got two of cups down here, you got networking, and you got ten of pentacles and vacation. Okay. You will be traveling soon. I did not say something about a trip. Oh, I love, I love my gifts. <laughs> love my gifts. They are exactly that. All right. Caution, find out more information, don't overwork yourself. Okay, make sure you're taking your spiritual bath, make sure you're taking care of yourself, don't neglect your health, all right? Someone else, someone is in the middle, someone's trying to sabotage this, we know, and we talked about this, okay? There'll be no sabotaging of any kind going on anymore. You see him in the background, sitting there, wishing how, or thinking how he can sabotage it, mm-hmm. Look, secretly, I didn't even, look. Uh, Spirit wanted me to pick that up. Look, sitting right there just, just thinking of how he can mess it up. Just evil, just wicked. Guardian, a, love, uh, a lost loved one watches over you. Okay, so a lost loved one is watching over you to make sure that you don't hurt your slam. Okay, child? Okay, with these gold diggers out here, child, okay? Be careful. Be careful, darling. Be careful. Okay? We got you. We watching out for you. Be careful, though. Leave these hoes alone, baby. Leave these hoes alone. That's somebody's grandma. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I don't know. I'm just saying this. No, it is somebody's grandma's day. Leave these girls alone, okay? Leave these little dudes, leave these, leave these little bumblebees alone. It's not the right time, okay? It's not the right time for something. Commitment, things are getting serious. Okay, so maybe this, maybe you're impatient and you, you want this to come in now, okay? But it's not the right time. Your 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 Passover loved ones are, watch, are watching over this. They're, they're guiding you. They're protecting it and guiding it to you, okay? Go 
gold digger. Yeah, they got this gold digger out of this person's energy or yours. Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn could be significant. Sexuality, someone is still figuring themselves out. Okay, narcissist. Mm. So the, is this past person that's a narcissist? Okay, this ex uh, could be on the down low. Yeah. This person's on the down low um, or, or cannot figure out their sexuality. This narcissist here trying to come in the middle of this. Okay, your person could be moving away or could have moved away from this person, changed residence, moving in with your partner. Person might want to move in with you. Cancer, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio could be significant. And yes, okay, someone is doing a love spell. It's a water sign. That's trying to get you to say yes to them. Okay, I'm getting that Scorpio energy. It's a water sign that's trying to get you to say yes to them. person is relentless like they're so damn annoying like this person is imagining themselves as your your person like look at this person looking in the mirror right the other person in the mirror has a tuxedo on and this person doesn't this person is seeing something that's not there they're delusional i never noticed that about this car until just now they're delusional they're not even wearing that tux, for real. Health, health issues could arise. This is in reverse, in the reverse. So somebody has some, this narcissist has some health issues, spy, and is spying on you. Moving on, and move on in the reverse and give it time in the reverse. Okay, so somebody is not moving on, somebody refuses to move on and somebody is, is impatient. Somebody's impatient and refusing to move on and they have some type of addiction. Gambling problems with, uh, I don't know, I'm hearing sex, sex addiction or something and they're carrying something, they're healthy they at health problems. Okay, goodness, goodness. Um, where's the, someone wants me to get some of these. Of course, documents are still from you. And scammer, relationship scammer came out on another side. I said that in the reading, did I? Relationship scammer, of course, documents. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Shit. I love you unconditionally. Okay. All right. Um, it's almost something is, it, it's time for something. Okay. Maybe this, it's time for this to come in. It's time for something. Something is, the time is now. Uh, $20,000. So, Overdue success, okay? Maybe this is overdue to you, this money, so whatever whatever the amount is, it's overdue to you, okay? Uh, and it's time for whatever this is to come to you, okay? Look, money, money on my mind, because money is all I think of. Some with money, it's coming to you. I forged documents to steal from you, okay? That was in reverse, that's coming out. Of course, we said that. Uh, somebody with childhood issues, okay, low vibration, no Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, all right, um, and there is a surprise for you, all right, somebody's a hating ass, cowardly bully, all right, or bullies, and like I said before, relationship scammer, okay, but you have a surprise coming, okay, which is absolutely this relationship and this Ten of Pentacles, it's crazy that they're in both, they're both in one card, like I've been saying, you get a Ten of Pentacles and your relationship. Surprise. Okay? So, a look, look, surprise. <laughs> surprise. God dang. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, beloved.
Capricorn, that is your reason, Capricorn, all right? Um, I love y'all, all right? I hope that it resonated with y'all. If y'all feel like donating, uh, you're led to, hit the description box. Um, and if you want a personal reading, hit the description box as well, all right? I love y'all. Stay prayed up, all right? Stay moving forward. Stay healing. Stay keep doing. Keep doing what you've been doing, all right? I'll holler at y'all later.